Now plug the Wi-Fi stick in the Wi-Fi port. When no line of flash, it means the power on. And the next two line with green, which means the Wi-Fi locker communicate with the inverter successfully. Check it. The LED and the com is green. It's successful right now. Open the mobile application store, searching the Solomon and the download. Now you click the app, enter the app. You need to uh, register a new account. When you register, you should know in. Now it's my station. Click on and click the right corner in the top. And then you need to add a logger. You scan the SN code in the Wi Fi logger. Now for the network configuration, select the Wi Fi. Wi Fi should be going to 4G. The 5G is a lot of optional. When you connect successful, you need to enter the password of your account and the start configuration. The phone will be connected with the logger. So now the configuration was successful. So the inverter will be offline and it will be automatic online into within five minutes and uh, those information will be updated after five minutes. Just take a rest and waiting for update the app will be updated every five minutes. So which means there was an update three minutes ago. After update the data will be displayed on logger and then the information will be sent to the app for the display. So now enter the local mode, click the local mode, and then scan the SN code. After scan, it will be communicated. The connector has been successful right now. Those are some basically parametric matter on the inverter for example click on the battery seating such as we are seating the DOD set it from 90% to the 80% click the successful it after seating complete the DOD parameter will be going to 80% so this is the SOC This is 4A5, which can be seen in the local mode. You can do that on yourself. Now, currently, there's an inter display interface. This is a photovoltage, grid, battery, and the load. After clicking the viral parameter will be displayed that PV display interface including the voltage current and the power then this is a display of the battery voltage current SOC power that's a default parameter of the leaf home battery and this is a bus voltage display interface that is a load voltage current and power now let's go to the grid display interface the frequency voltage current power next enter the setting click on the up left corner enter the default password 51 click ok then you are entering the interface. Firstly, it's a walking mode. 
leading interface, self-consumption, pack, shift, battery, priority. Those depend on your need. Just select what you want. This is a backup embo function. This is a grid power limiting. This is a selling mode. If you need selling the power to the grid, you need to select those modes. This is PV type. Independent, parameter, parallel, constant voltage, depend on your demand. This is a pick shape. You can see the charging and the discharging time according to your need. Lux is a battery setting. Those are type of the battery. Lead acid, lead fan. And this is the BMS type. You can select the CAN or 4A5 and uh, it's a charging current which is a discharging battery limited it's now sitting to the 100 percent this is a lead acid battery sitting interface which is a low voltage and a high voltage you can see that in this page this is also lead acid battery capacity and also sit on the page Next is the grid CR. It is now is a default C to the EN50549. If you need the grid standard to the other country, you can see them here. Click on the CN. It will be China. After clicking in successful, click the save. So this is the last one page, it will show up the information about this inverter. For example, you can see this inverter is a AKW and the SN code and the software version of the ARM and the DSP in this page.